Hello and welcome to this video. Uh, today I am standing right in front of the Jack Charm shop and this is the junction that goes uh, to the Fajara Beach or BB Hotel. So going this way you will be going towards um, Senegambia and Tone Table and going this other way you will be going towards traffic light. So I will be going this way instead where I'll be going towards um, Manjai Johnson. So, I'm um, going along. This is a new building being constructed, still not done, but as you can see, it's a very beautiful one. So, um, over here you have the police station, the court police station. And on the side you have some shops over there. So as you can see people are standing around um, because they're waiting to board a taxi to go some going towards um, Tipagaras and others going towards Senegambia. So on this side you also have shops. Over there you have some vendors but uh, nothing more unless the house is behind lots of trees a woman over there selling bananas oranges and different kinds of fruits um, sorry Alhamdulillah. Yeah, Alhamdulillah. Uh, so this is a restaurant over here. Okay. And over here they sell charcoal. So the Gambia is a very peaceful country. Uh, you don't have to know someone to greet the individual. Sometimes you can just meet somebody ram randomly like I just did and then exchange salutations. So over there. Wait, no, no. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, um, so he's an old schoolmate going for a jog. Uh, hey, Bala. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> well, right, well, right. Yeah, fine. Get out of Yeah. <laughs> so going along. Um, here you have Mama Travel Tours, um, and here they sell goods on the other shop. And over there you have the Gambia Fire and Rescue Service Station in Kotu. Okay, as you can see, one of their cars is parked inside. So moving on, you have lots of trees. As you can see on the other side, um, over there you have Kamara Trading, they also sell goods. So as you may notice, um, going this way, you have mostly houses uh, instead of instead of shops on the road. Well, you might have just a few shops on the road, but not as much. Slow like you. Ah, video like you put YouTube. Wow, yeah, fine. Yeah, fine. I'm going to pay. So that's, those are solar panels installed. Um, beautiful house over there and a nice car parked.
the road is also in a good condition obviously we have sand on the road but this condition is quite good um, you will know when driving that the road is in in a good condition uh, and because some drivers you know keep over speeding they now have speed bumps um, along this road so from here going towards steeper garas um, you will be having some speed bumps well as you may have observed since i started okay so here you have a drugstore and over there you have a travel agency on the other end you have a house um, western union over there a money transfer let's say Fatima's mini market okay so here you have a sign signboard of the speed bump I was mentioning <coughs> Over there, you have a field where children usually go to play football. That is after the car, as you can see a guy over there. So this is a very famous um, car wash in Kotu. Usually when people tell you I am at the car wash near the fire, um, fire rescue service okay, the Gambia fire rescue service uh, this is where they are referring to and um, this junction goes towards go to senior secondary school but if you know the school, you would know that they have a male section and a female section. The boys and girls do not share classes. So this way also goes to um, the field. So they do not share classes, so this way goes towards the female section gate. So continuing along ahead, you will see that you have the male section gate. And here you have some welders, beautiful house over there, the car wash, sometimes it could be very very busy, you will find lots of cars parked here waiting to be washed. So again we are walking towards Manjai Johnson. We started from the, around the Kotu police station. As you can see there are cars being washed. Behind these people you also have a field, a football field where um, people usually go to play football and behind that field is where you have go to senior secondary school. Okay. So a house over there. There is also a car wash. So if your car is dirty and needs washing. Well, if you are around this end, consider it done. <laughs> At least you have enough cars. And here you have the tuk-tuk garage. Lots of tuk-tuks parked here. Okay. So these were introduced and now we have lots of people who drive these tuk-tuks. Uh, which I believe is a great thing because uh, before you will have some youths who didn't have um, employment, um, some struggled, you know, um, but with these tuk-tuks now, they're able to 
um, get the tuk-tuks, at least drive them around and get income from it. Over there you also have another cow. So this junction over here, this junction over here goes towards Koto Senior Secondary School, the male section gate. As you can see, there are some male students standing over there. Okay, over here you have this building. Again, all the people you're seeing standing by the road are waiting to board taxis. So, um, if you have not been here for the last, for the past 10 years, 5 years, here's an update for you. Um, now, traveling by road now has become uh, a bit difficult, most especially getting taxis. As you can see, people are standing and taxis are passing by. So most of the taxi drivers uh, sometimes, um, you know, would go for just stand trips. And those who are going on fares, usually the car easily gets full. So sometimes you will see a taxi that is empty while people are standing by the road. Um, and they won't take any customers. So this uh, makes it very difficult. So besides that part, also sometimes we have issues with traffic congestion. At the moment, um, the traffic is not congested. But if you were here around 4, now it's after 5 towards 6. Um, it is 6 actually right now. But if you were here around 4, the traffic will have been congested. But even at this time, if you go towards um, towards Westfield, trying to go from Westfield to Birkama, the traffic would still be congested. That traffic is almost all the time congested. It's just better during Sundays. Okay, so continuing along, with our places around. We are walking towards Anjai Junction. So it's a bit of a distance. Uh, so if you are watching, having your phone or your laptop or your desktop, just sit back, relax, have a cup of, cup of coffee uh, or your soda. If you're into burger, the fast food, enjoy while I show you the camera. today just mild not hot not cold and there also a new building being constructed which is not done yet so um, over here as you can see is a bit more concentrated okay, as far as having shops and magazines uh, than the places I've already shown you so that is the building that is being constructed and over here you have the, a mechanic um, workshop In Wolof we call this Ngoni. <laughs> um, I'm not sure if I could call it hay. I think I could call it hay. So they usually sell it and people buy it to give to their um, uh, their ship, boats, um, horses, donkeys, cows, and so on. So there also you have all magazines um, so if you want to go towards L um, um, what's it called again 
Ice Wonderland. You can take this junction. Okay, this junction goes over there. Um, also, the road here, you know, it was repaired, so it's in good condition. So, continuing along, still heading towards Manjai Junction. Over there, they sell Afra. Sell Afra, um, Lamb Afra. And here as well, here, um, I think, a bit of um, beef and chicken as well. As well here. <laughs> okay, uh, so here you have these buildings. So again, like, like I explained in one of my videos, some people are open to, you know, being recorded while others are not. I believe this is, this is the case everywhere, okay? Wherever you go, there are some people who are comfortable with being on camera, while there are others who are not. So over there, they sell what we call here as fokajai, meaning used clothes. So clothes that have been used and sent to the Gambia, usually people will take, uh, they are almost next to new, people will sell them. Um, right, so here you have someone selling oranges as well, fruits, over there you have a salon, someone selling afra. Over there they sell charcoal and firewood, there's a television shop. So we are nearing Ngai Junction. Students going home from SOS goes in the afternoon shift. There you have the building, the junction over there. And that is also a restaurant. So the traffic has started being getting congested. So here they sell goods that have been sent from other countries, usually from abroad. Um, most of them, if not all, are second hand. So over there they're selling cars. Just a few of them. And now I can see we are at Manjai Junction. As you can see, there you have the speed petrol station over there. Here you have some cars parked. So here is a bit busy because uh, it's a junction, you know, um, where most cars live. So as you can see, coming uh, from BB, you need to pass through. Majai Johnson. Coming from Westfield, uh, you also need to pass from Majai Johnson. And over there you have Dauda, who is one of my players in my volleyball team. Oh, by the way, I am coaching um, the, y the Gambia YMC volleyball team and we are competing in the uh, Gambia National League. We are currently um, ranked fourth in the country. Uh, hopefully this time, you know, our ranking will change. Dada, how are you? I'm fine, you know. It's been a while, huh? Yeah, man, a while. You're going for training? Yeah, I'm going for training. Ah, okay, okay, okay. How you doing? Yeah, how do you I'm fine, thank you. <laughs> All right, see you. <laughs> so, um, yes, there you have the gas station. So, that way will take you towards Manjai. Oh, sorry, yes, inside Manjai, uh, or oh, if you're going towards Westfield, 
you can use that way if you're also going towards Serapunda you can also use that way so let me just show you a little bit more yeah they sell these clothes as you can see so this Johnson will take you towards Tavan okay this Johnson goes towards Tavan this Johnson goes this way goes towards um, um, Tipagaras but you can also use it to go to West uh, to Serekunda and then to Westfield and using this way you go inside Manjai and ahead you have uh, the Manjai police station um, continuing on uh, you can go towards Westfield towards Serekunda towards Carnifing and so on okay so um, this was all we wanted to show you today or oh, before I end the video there you have uh, the UDP building there you have some businesses around you know so I think I've walked some distance now and the video is getting long so I will stop it here uh, thank you all for uh, watching please subscribe to our channel share and comment uh, this is gum entrepreneur thank you